How about the meme that died the fastest of all of them? It's Morbid Time. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl here, and today I just want to talk a little bit about the con that happened a few weeks ago. I know this video is super, super late. Oh well, I want to talk about the con, a con this year. So, they have not had a con in two, count them, two years, because, you know, the COVID exists. I was expecting the con to be a little not good. And granted, it was fine. It was way better than the year previous. Well, you know, the one where I was at that horrible fairgrounds. But there were still some issues and concerns that I just want to bring up briefly. The schedule. There was no paper schedule. Now, paper schedules have not been a thing at cons for a pretty long time now. When you want to use an app to do your schedule, make sure A, the app is good, and B, it works because I don't know if it's because the app just had so much traffic going on because so many people were wanting to use the app. Day Friday of the con, the app did not work. Saturday, it did not work. It sort of worked, but... And then by Sunday, they had it perfectly working just fine. Sunday's the last day of the con, and a lot of people leave on Sunday, so it was like, well... Apparently, the app that they decided to use is actually not the good one, and they should have used a different one, according to people, so I was like, okay, well... Mm. It's kind of a, let's talk about what they should do differently next year video, essentially. What I think think should really be changed. I don't know what they're gonna do about the location. Let's not go back to the fairgrounds because that place was absolute dog shit. Now, this place that we have now is good, but it feels almost too small for a con of this size. Having the dealer's room and the artist alley in this, and now the room was big, granted, very big, but it wasn't big enough. We needed a bigger space for the dealer's room and artist alley. They were great. They had a lot of great artists. They had a lot of great dealers, you know, and all that stuff. That's fine. Albeit, I don't know why there was a very big space dedicated to a massage object for your back. That was weird in the dealer section. I guess they were sponsored by them. I feel like shouldn't have been a thing. Whatever. Like, the, the way they handled guests, you know, like, like, autograph lines and stuff like that, that was fine. I understood it. Made sense. Akon had their sponsored autograph sessions on the upper floor, on the third floor, and then in the artist alley and dealer's room. Those autographs aren't sponsored by the con of the guests that are there. They're just there and, you know, that's not done by Akon, that's done by the guests themselves, whatever. I still enjoyed the con and that's why I'm making this video saying, hey, here's what you need to change. What other venue can we use? Because this con was happening at the same time as DreamHack, which is like a VTuber con or something was happening at the same time as Akon in the convention center in wherever the hell in Dallas and I was like okay so we obviously couldn't use that spot this year because DreamHack was happening at the same time and I think it was a VTuber con I don't know I just know a bunch of VTubers were there so which is pog but I didn't go to that I think the location is fine but it's just not big enough you know for this 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 size of this con like I'm not saying this con is as big as Anime Expo but like I feel like give a few more years now that COVID nobody gives a fuck anymore so <laughs> that nobody gives a fuck anymore so we're just like let's go to cons uh, it's going to like it was getting to a probably a good decent level before COVID that it was getting to Anime Expo levels of attendees and I feel like since this con is now back and people are like oh let's go it's like they probably did, I don't know if they expected that big of a turnout, but it was, uh, the dealer's room was very crowded, and the people don't know how to work a damn line, let me tell you that, like, in a dealer's room, like, one direction goes one way and the other goes the other way. It was it was a mess. I liked getting there early in the morning so that if you're in the beginning of the line for the dealer's room, it's not so crowded when you get in there because eventually it's going to get hella crowded in there. It's not fun. I heard people saying that security could be mean to them at the con. A reason for security being there probably because, I mean... Cons have security, but this felt like, like there was security fucking everywhere because of every fucking shooting that we have every fucking week. Like, we had just had a mass shooting in a school like two weeks ago, so it was like, okay, let's 
Let's tighten down on security. Let's go. But as for the panels and everything, they were all fun. I, all the panels I went to were fun. Overall, I did have a good time at this con. One thing I did really enjoy is they had this section where they had these people who brought in like miniature like scenes for like for like photo shoots and everything. It was really cool. I've never actually seen those at a con before, and I was like, whoa, that's really cool. And they're completely free to use. You can just you know go up there and take pictures with the the scenes, the backdrops and everything. So I was just thought this is really cool. We should have this again. These, I liked that. That was cool. But yeah, there's just some things that I wish they would change about the con and hopefully come the next year we'll see some of these changes implemented. We'll have a better app for the schedule. Hopefully we will have just, a, I don't know what they're going to do about the venue. I, rumor has, it. I, I don't know if this is confirmed or not, uh, but they're going to have it at the same place next year. So we'll see how that goes. At least that's what I heard is that the con will also be at that same convention center, the I forgot the name of it, but that place that you all know what I'm talking about. We'll see if Akon can improve because they're always they're they've been under new management since the fairgrounds, so you know they gotta figure everything out. And hopefully this year they've figured things out and know how they want to do things. And next year will hopefully be better. And I got to meet a bunch of voice actors that I had never met before. I got to meet Kazuha's voice actor from Genshin. He was a really nice guy. I got to meet someone I've been wanting to meet for so long, Xander Moba. Super nice guy. I love that guy. Want to see that guy again. He voices Joker from Persona 5 and among other things, Inumaki from Jujutsu Kaisen. Gonna go show a little bit here for the Lava Show. I don't know if any of you have been to a con where they have Robbie Damon, Max Middleman, and Ray Chase there, but every time that they are at a con together, they try to do this show called Lava, which is loud and very annoying, if I remember correctly. And you're not allowed to take pictures or videos, whatever. You're the person next to you, sweet. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, let's do, um, memes. Memes. You got one? Okay. Meme number one. Dead memes. Stand in place. <laughs> Got it. It's vertical planking. This translates easily into T-pose. One, two, three, T-pose. <laughs> hey, how about the meme that died the fastest of all of them? It's Morbid time. <laughs> That's right. We're declaring it's Morbid time dead tonight. Take that. And, uh, oh, uh, Slav Squat. Let's go, boys. Get down. Get deep. Get down. <laughs> Yeah, and everybody hates it. Welcome back to 2016. Dab it out, boys. <laughs> Bro, right. put your phones away. It is an experience, and I would highly recommend going to one if you ever see one at a con near you. Those shows are absolutely hilarious. It's one of the best, like, panels I think I've ever seen at a con. And they've been doing it for, like, what, five years or something? Maybe a little bit longer? I've been to, like, three of them now. I went to one in AMA Frontier last year and then there was two at this con actually. I went to both of them because I think these are just absolutely hilarious. But anyway, enough shilling about that. That's just what I wanted to say about Akon this year and hopefully next year is better. So for those of you who went to get Akon, what did you think of all of that stuff? And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Takes you five seconds. Costs you nothing. Thank you. Hard to realize. Hard to see if you ain't open. What you waiting for, man? You'll survive all the fittest. You ain't getting nothing. Wish for thinking of yours. Gonna take you nowhere. Feed your hungry brain and be one of those rare.